Hello Taurus, welcome to your love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Taurus, this is a collective, I can't, I really can't. Most of the signs so far have has this energy showing up. It's incredible. It's incredible, really. Taurus, this is a collective love message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Okay. So Taurus, uh, you have someone from your past, it, it, this card suggests that it's a past connection, that it's a person from your past who might feel that they have unfinished business with you. Either way, this person has a crush on you. What I am getting here specifically is that you met this person and it's like uh, they are hiding, that they have feelings for you. They are extra trying to appear as extra kind, uh, attentive. It's like they might be your best friend or someone from your kind of close cir circle of friends, or it might be a colleague, but this person has a crush on you and you know them. This is someone who you've met uh, and they are trying to present themselves from best possible way. Look. This is what they want. They want a higher level of commitment. This person is fantasizing about you, <laughs> about this connection. They are dreaming. I feel that, you know, emotions and, 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 and imagination is running really, really high. Uh, this person might be an artist. I feel that they might be quite creative. Um, is eccentric a good uh good term to uh to kind of describe this person maybe for some of you it might resonate with you that that kind of like someone who's quite eccentric uh, very original very interesting uh individual but i'm getting very strongly here that indeed this person might be very creative and uh, maybe this is someone who is a, for instance, a musician, performer, artist, um, actor, or a painter, right? But in general, they are very creative. Or you might be yourself, um, Taurus, very creative. Let's see. Let's see. But really, I mean, most of the readings, most of the signs have that history card showing up. It's quite extraordinary. And I really, you know, before your reading, I pre-shuffled the cards and during reading, I also shuffling the cards. So it's quite, quite, quite extraordinary to have this energy showing up over and over again for most of the signs, really. Let's see. Let's see, Taurus. Could you please show me more about this situation? Please. Could you please show me more about this situation? We have a King of Swords. We have a Queen of Wands. Okay. Five of Swords. King of Cups, the star, we have a Knight of Pentacles, you might be dealing with Aquarius Taurus, mm -hmm. the Devil and Temperance. So you might be dealing indeed with Aquarius. I also have Capricorn and Sagittarius energy so far in this reading for you. Mm -hmm. 
So, Taurus, this person wants to heal something here with you, with the star. They are full of hope that they can achieve that, that things can be great between the two of you. Uh, I feel it's more about them really at the end of the day it's like this person is full of hope that things can work out between the two of you it's like I'm getting someone who really wants to make a good impression on you really do you have a choice between two people Taurus because I see here also a new energy that it's showing up People are very, very drawn to you. I can tell you that. It's like they want to be in your company. Um, I feel that they really, really paying attention what you think. You're showing up here as someone who is very, very attractive, very beautiful, very handsome. And it's like you have this natural X factor. Mm-hmm. What I am getting here that indeed you might have history with this person because something here didn't work out. With the Five of Swords and the Devil, it suggests here that at some point this person was very manipulative. They played mind games, they were lying. And with the Devil, it's like a strength in this energy more. So. Uh, this person here, I feel that at some point this person wasn't emotionally available for you, 100%. Mm -hmm. They were kind of distant and they were kind of giving you time, affection and attention only when it was convenient for them. Uh, you didn't care of someone who's quite insecure and, and, has, and this person has some work to do, essentially. But like they want to talk, this king of swords really wants to clear the air with you. Uh, they want to come across that they have good intentions big time. That things are different, that they've changed. Four of swords. As an overall energy for this, for this part of the reading. What I am getting here, Taurus, that for some of the time you haven't been in touch with this person. And it's like maybe this person came into, into the picture at the moment. You know, like a, recently. Or for some of you, there is still no contact. But I'm getting that this person is very close to you, Taurus. So it might be a case that for some of you, you might not be on a regular basis in touch with this person but it's just like this is someone from your close related environment they know your friends or they know about them you know but something here happened between the two of you with the temperance this person wants to um, bring more kind of um, harmony balance you know they want to heal this connection big time But you are dealing here also with someone who is very kind of uh, very passionate, maybe too much, in a sense that the way they're expressing their feelings is through passion rather than words. But I see someone here who is trying to make a big, big effort. With the Four of Swords, it's like they took a step back in order to rethink and reevaluate the whole situation, their behavior, and they come into a uh, kind of conclusion that they need to be more attentive they need to show you that they are very kind and they are very cons considerate mm -hmm. interesting energy show me this person's feelings we have to fall so again strong Aquarius, Aries energy, Six of Wands, 
and five of pentacles that is, this person is missing your attention ace of swords an emotional level they feel that they really need to talk with you they want to bring some sort of clarity they want to clear the air it's like they feel that they truly want that they are in need of some sort of kind of really um you know heart to heart conversation they are in need of of that with you six of wands they want your attention they want the success regarding this situation five of pentacles it's like they are, what i am getting here that you might be not paying attention to this person like you know 100 percent, and they truly want this this is also someone who is missing your attention yeah And it wouldn't surprise me, Taurus, for instance, if you said, well, they're receiving their karma. Because that feels that way. And I can tell you that this person feels that way, that they are receiving their karma. Mm -hmm. But with the fool, they want to try again. This is someone who wants to have a new beginning on emotional level, meaning in love with you. Seven of Cups. Yeah, they are fantasizing a lot about you. But this is also someone uh, who feels that you might have many options in love. It, it doesn't have to be the case in a sense. I feel that you, you do have options in love, but it, it might be a case that you just don't pay attention to them or you are not taken seriously. Uh, that sort of energy. Ten of Wands, they are overwhelmed by their emotions. And it's like they want to kind of say something here in order to release this emotional burden, you know, that they might be carrying regarding this situation. Let's see. Could you please show me this person's actions towards Taurus? Ace of Pentacles. So they're coming with an offer. Eight of Pentacles. Interesting. They want to put an effort. Oh, Taurus, this person will be extra helpful. They will be very supportive because they want you to recognize that they are making effort. With the Eight of Pentacles, it's like they want to work on the situation. They want to convince you that uh, they deserve a chance. Or your, you know, that they... <laughs> The magician. You might be dealing Taurus with Gemini Virgo. Show me this person's actions towards Taurus. Six of a yeah, you see? So that's what I said. They will be extra supportive. The love is at the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh. Gemini energy because they want to be with you. Taurus, you see, the lovers in their actions is an overall energy. Why are they doing all of it? Because they want to be with you. They want to be in a relationship with you, big time. So in their actions, it's interesting that we have all, um, most, I mean, we can also, because we have this Ace of Pentacles here with the Magician card. It's a very, very strong earth energy so taurus you might be dealing with another taurus i also have virgo and capricorn energy but it's like the actions are really kind of are about you you know about this connection this person is really focused on you taurus so in the actions this is someone who will come with an offer eight of pentacles it's like they will try to prove it to you that they care that, that they will make so much effort and it's like this person try to present themselves that that they that you know they are um all about this equal give take that they that they can be a great material material for a long-term partner you will receive enormous amount of um support this person will be very generous with their time with their affection and with their attention 
they would try to come forward as someone who is thoughtful, kind, considerate, and very attentive. And that's exactly what these cards are showing. And by doing this, this person will be trying to manifest a change and like a stability between the two of you with regards to this connection. Why? Because they want to have a relationship with you, Taurus. This person really wants to be with you, with the lovers. But you can expect this person, for instance, if you call them in the middle of the night, they will show up immediately on your doorstep if you if you are in need of some sort of support or help. That, that, that's what I'm talking about. If we are talking about, for instance, me giving you an example, right? A magician, this person will try everything to uh, come across as someone who really has best intentions and they really want to be there for you they want to support you they care they want to build something with you they want to work on the situation because at the end of the day they are in love with you and they want relationship wow this person wants to be closer to you that's what i am getting on they are overwhelmed this ten of what is showing up again Oh my gosh. Wheel of Fortune, want to change the circumstances. Mm -hmm. You might be dealing Taurus with Sagittarius, another Taurus, Aquarius, a Leo, Scorpio. Show me the outcome. Eight of Swords. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Show me the outcome and we have three of wands okay nine of wands at the bottom of the deck nine of wands at the bottom of the deck here suggests Taurus that you might have your guard up that you might not fully trusting this person you might be not fully trusting this person because of the history that both of you share you have your reasons. That's what they're showing me here. That's what this Nine of Wands suggests. So in your outcome, we have the Eight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune and Three of Wands. So I can tell you here that this person is stuck on you. They are stuck on you. They want you. And that's it really with the Eight of Swords. Um, they are very much here focused on changing the circumstances between the two of you. Why? Because they want progress with the three of wands, they see that goal that can be achieved, but it's like they, they know that they need more time. Uh, but it feels that this person has all this time. They want progress, that's what they want. However, and here is the thing, and I feel this is really kind of depends on you. With the Eight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, Three of Wands, this progress is somehow kind of blocked. Because Eight of Swords is this energy of blockage, feeling trapped or see some sort of obstacles, you know, or delays. And Wheel of Fortune is all about movement. So we have that sort of blockage regarding this progress that we've been talking about. And I feel very strongly it's, it depends on you, Taurus, because this Nine of Wands suggests that you have your reasons to not fully trust this person. You have your reservations. And again, I feel this is something to do with the past, connecting both of you, you know? And I feel that you putting very strong and healthy boundaries um, and that's why with the Eight of Swords, it's like this person, well, this, this is as much as I can do. I do want to bring change, positive change to the circumstances. I want only Taurus, but hey, it is important also to kind of uh, recognize if you are on the same page with this person, because it might not be a case, right? And I feel here very strongly that this person, again, in their actions, they will try to, they will try to do almost everything to convince you that you can uh, rely on them, that they are there for you, that they are very supportive, 
uh, that they are very attentive, that they are kind, that they really, really care about you. But it's like, mm, okay, but you know, let's see, let's see. So what I am getting here in, in, this, in this outcome, I'm seeing here someone who is stuck on you and who wants to, uh, who wants progress who wants to change the circumstances regarding this connection because they can see both of you being together. It makes sense to them and this is what they truly, truly want. However, it depends on you. And for now, for the immediate future, I, I see you Taurus being very cautious, um, maybe even listening very carefully what this person is saying. And it's like you're taking your time. You are not in a hurry. In a hurry. I, I don't see you wanting to rush into things. So this person, it feels like they really have to be uh, quite uh, patient. And if they are willing to be patient, who knows what the future will bring. But... <laughs> Yeah, I know, you, you will say, well, you should know, <laughs> fair enough. But um, based on these cards, for the immediate future, I am unable to tell you if there's going to be a progress. I would say that because we have an Eight of Swords, I, I'm getting here that things will stay as they are between the two of you, um, unless you, you're going to make a decision that... Uh, you are ready to kind of, you know, um, to bring that change within this connection regarding dynamics between the two of you. So I feel that this change really depends on you, Taurus. But based on this outcome, at least for, for the immediate future, near future, I don't see... Uh, much of the progress regarding this connection but purely because you don't fully trust this person it's like you need to prove it to me that i can i can really trust you because you know we have history here and i haven't forgotten about this you are the one who can remove this eight of swords energy in a, in a, in a, in the sense of that blockage that is there and things then yes with the will of fortune we'll, we'll, we'll put into motion and uh, that three of wands will manifest sooner rather than later but again it it purely depends on what you are comfortable with okay so there is something here to kind of uh, think about and uh, you will know exactly what to do Mm -hmm. but the most important thing here is that this person oh my gosh they will try everything to convince you that they are your person that you should trust them and that they truly truly care Taurus I will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very very much for your time I truly, truly appreciate you. Taurus, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very, very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.